today's news. I'm Steve Cape, and a special military investigation team is due in Kentucky after the helicopter disaster that left nine Army soldiers dead. CBS's Skylar Henry. The Army says two HH-60 Blackhawk helicopters collided in mid-air during a routine training exercise. This is a truly tragic loss for our families, our division, and Fort Campbell. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir expressed his condolences. The nine individuals we lost our children of God. They will be mourned and missed by their families, by their communities. Hundreds of evacuees in Raymond, Minnesota are being allowed to return home after the freight train derailment and fire that caused concern. Governor Tim Walls. We'll make sure you continue to monitor this. We're certainly glad that um, we had no injuries in this. That is both a blessing, which we should all be grateful for, and it also is the professionalism of the first responders. The train was carrying ethanol and corn syrup. The man known as the QAnon Shaman has been released from a federal prison in Arizona. Jacob Chansley is now in a halfway house. His costume made him a symbol of the Capitol attack. His original sentence was 41 months. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich has pleaded not guilty to espionage charges in Moscow. He was detained in Russia's Ural Mountains. CBS's Tammy McCormick. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the U.S. is deeply concerned over the detention and in contact with the Wall Street Journal. A statement says the U.S. condemns in the strongest possible terms the Kremlin's attempts to intimidate, repress, and punish journalists. Today, the U.S. accused Russia of sending a delegation to North Korea offering to exchange food for weapons. Now to Rome, CBS's Chris Livesey reports the Vatican says Pope Francis is improving as he gets hospital treatment for a respiratory ailment. He's been asked about this a number of times as to whether or not he will resign. He's laughed it off sometimes. Other times he's said, no, I won't. Other times he's said, you know, if I'm put in a position where I simply can't perform my duties, then yes. But more recently, referring to the fact that he's hobbling along these days uh, in a wheelchair or walking with a cane, and then he said, you know, in order to be Pope, you don't need your legs. You just need your brain. When the Paltrow's lawyers are expected to wrap up their case today in the lawsuit brought against her for a ski slope collision, the Utah jury could begin deliberating later today after closing arguments. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is up one point. The S&P 500 is up 11. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.